Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 21st of December 2020, the last edition before Christmas. And we start off with the news about Lagavulin. Yes, there will be a new Lagavulin and it's called the Lagavulin Offerman uh, 11 years, or Offerman edition 11 years. It will be an 11 year old Lagavulin and partly created by the US actor Nick Offerman. He kind of designed the packaging and the bottle design, 46% ABV, no coloring with chill filtering. Yeah. Then we have news from Johnny Walker. The Johnny Walker blend, a blonde, it is a blend, but it's called Blonde, a very sweet and easy drinkable um, whiskey from Johnny Walker with a high wheat content in the grain and the high content of American oak. So it's very, very sweet and mild. And it will be now available in more international markets. Which markets will be available right now? I'm not quite sure. German market will be available in March 2021. So I'm guessing most of the markets will be added around that date. Another edition from Johnny Walker, which is much more expensive, is the Johnny Walker Blue Edition that comes to the market. Um, yeah, but not in all international markets, unfortunately. So hopefully it will be around where you live. Next up is the two new XOP Black um, bottlings from Douglas Lang are coming. It's one 1989 Glenrothes of a sherry cask and a 45 year old Tininich distilled in 1975. When they will come out, we are not quite sure. Then we have Hunter Lang and they are bringing out a new series called Eidolon. And this is a series of three Port Allen bottlings. The first one is a 36 year old Port Allen in yeah, limited quantity, as all are, from 1983. Uh, with 638 bottles and a cask strength of 53.6% ABV, no coloring, no chill filtering. And I don't know the price, but it will be very expensive. Then talking about expensive, we're coming to McAllen. And McAllen uh, sold the red collection or they start selling. And they started off at the Dubai airport. And during the first day at the Dubai airport, they made a turnover of 2 million US dollars. And that shows you how expensive and how much McKellen whiskey was sold. Then we have a new design from Krabby's. Uh, Krabby's is a um, company from Great Britain. Uh, it's called Halewood Artisan Spirits and they're having a new design with a new um, a white label and a bit of a reduced uh, bottle design and actually a uh, yeah, a handle on the bottle that is very, very unique. Then we go over to Ireland. There is a cooperation between Roe and Co, the Irish whiskey, and Guinness, the Irish beer. And they're doing a beer cask finish with uh, casks from Guinness and whiskey from Roe and Co. And there are two beer cask finishes out on the market. It's the Citra IPA cask finish and the Antwerpen stout cask finish. Mm, sounds quite good. Hopefully some of these bottles will also find their way to me. Then we stay in Ireland and there is a new distillery that just opened in Ireland. It's the Irish Tipperary Boutique Distillery. And uh, it was founded by the uh, former managing director of Glen Glasso, Stuart Nickinson, so a very experienced person, but it's a very, very small distillery. That's why it's called a boutique distillery. And they will only produce nine casks per week. So you can yeah, assert yourself how much whiskey is coming out there and how limited it will be. But uh, they're really down to the quality and going into um, the production process and they're using all of their own barley. So good luck to you. Um, then we have news from an international corporation. Whistle Pig and Moe Hennessy want to work together and that's kind of a, a sales deal because Whistle Pig wants Moe Hennessy to take their uh, sales in the European and Asian markets. 
as they're kind of only in the US now and they want to expand to the European and Asian market. Hopefully that will create more demand and the brand will become better and the Canadian rye whiskey will be uh, available in Europe and Asia as well. So that was it for the news today. Thank you very much for watching. Happy uh, Christmas to you. And if you want to join us for a live tasting, uh, there will be a beginner's live tasting on the 25th of December and uh, experts live tasting on the 26th of December, uh, both at 8.30 p.m. Central European Standard Time on whiskey.com slash live. And you will also find all these information on whiskey.com slash live. That was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.